how is it now that Mars is just cold and dry and there's so little atmosphere that liquid water would just boil away immediately? It went from a very life-friendly environment to kind of a dead world. There's been some catastrophic climate change on Mars. MAVEN's goal is actually to try to figure out what happened to the atmosphere. Where did all the air go? My name is Michelle Fowler. I'm the Assistant Director of Science at Goddard Space Flight Center. MAVEN stands for the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Mission. The big question MAVEN's trying to answer is what happened to the Martian atmosphere? In the past, Mars actually had standing water on the surface all over the place. I mean, that's not a theory. That's actually something we learned for sure with our rovers. We found little polished river pebbles. We found dry riverbeds. We found ocean floors. This is the first NASA mission where the main goal is to study the atmosphere and how it's changing. It'll take 10 months to get to Mars. And then we will actually go into quite an elliptical orbit around Mars that takes us very close in, up about 70 miles over the surface. The spacecraft is literally going to scoop up molecules from Mars' upper atmosphere and analyze the chemistry and see how that air is escaping in space. One of the things that depletes the Martian atmosphere is the solar wind. The sun has this stream of high, high energy particles that comes out. And luckily, we are very well protected from that because the Earth has a strong magnetic field. And all of those particles go right around our magnetic field and they don't hurt us at all. But Mars doesn't have a global magnetic field, it just has little pockets of magnetic activity. And so when a solar storm hits Mars, it slams into the atmosphere and, and literally blasts off gases from Mars. We hope to actually observe that happening. The different ratio of chemicals in the upper atmosphere will give us a sense of what happened over the past as well. What we're looking at here is, is massive and catastrophic climate change on another planet. And I, I think that people often think that planets are these very permanent, solid things that you can't ch change very easily. But in fact, climate is always kind of in a balance. And as human beings right now, we're doing a very profound experiment on the Earth where we're changing the climate. And we're doing that in a system that we don't really understand how the basic physics works yet. Understanding what happened to Mars, I think, is going to give us a better idea of how planets in general change and evolve. And that may help us find out what the fate of the Earth is going to be.